who were not present must have read about it. Those who are selected as judges must realize their great responsibilities. For a judge must endeavor to discover the truth so that his judgment will always be impartial and unbiased. Pastor Farai. He must, moreover, strive to overcome fear and to resist temptations such as those of penunciary gains and favoritism and any other practices that might prevent him from proper execution of his duties. He should, in addition, seek guidance from the Almighty God, be true to his conscience, and examine objectively cases brought before him and to aid him in avoiding malpractices. Eli, Rastafari. You see, this is the reasoning of Rastafari. This is our Rastafari reasoning when I and I reason about judges and the judge. You see, for most of I and I within this present Iowa, our only examples of what we see as judge and judges, the only real examples that you really see here in the West is false judges. False judges. I don't see one true judge here in, on this side, even on that side. You see? Yeah. I only see one true judge is Rastafari. You see? Yeah. Just like His Majesty is the only Christian. Haile Selassie alone is, is, the, is the only Christian. Everybody else just trying a thing. It's him and him alone that are Christian. Yeah. Remember culture song. No judge can claim ignorance of poverty. No judge can claim ignorance or poverty as an excuse for shortcomings in the administration of justice because he can neither shirk the responsibility entrusted to him by the crown nor perjure his God-given conscience. It will be found that physical and material handicaps, which are often short-lived and transitory, are not only harmful as finding one's self-faced with a guilty conscience. Yilei, I'll read that again. It will be found that physical and material handicaps, which are often short-lived and transitory, are not so harmful as finding one's self-faced with a guilty conscience. Yeah, Rastafari. Look how much these false judge, I know they're suffering from guilty conscience. I know they have to be suffering from enough guilty conscience. That's why they're strung out on legal drugs. They're strung out on all type of legal drugs and all little type of little weird little freaky sexual activity them boys out there involving to try to ease them, them sexual conscience. I mean, them, them, them mad conscience. Them guilty conscience upon them. Rastafari. Because you go to the courthouse, pure, poor people. You go to the courthouse, there's nothing in there but poor people. Poor people. Poor people, Jed. You go to, the, go to the courthouse, and you see there's nothing in there but poor people. The guys, them who got the little money or whatever, you see the little thing and thing, they in and out. They don't even come. They don't even show up down there. You see? But when you go look out, there ain't nothing out there but poor people coming in there to get robbed by this in, the injustice. You see? That's all you see. And we know that this thing ain't going to last long. You see, it can't last long because if you look at history, ain't no unrighteous government, ain't no unrighteous kingdom ever stand long. If you know history, you know that they must fall. It's only a matter of time. So I and I as black people, I and I as Ethiopian, I and I as humanity and conscious people, I and I for strive up, do good, live good, live clean, you know, see it? Don't get in a Babylon shit stem because they're going down. And all those that's depending upon Babylon shit stem, they're going to go down with her. 
ten thousands of thousand careless Ethiopians shall go down in Babylon. Rastafari. So if you slip your slide, be the careful black people. Aye, aye. Rastafari. Not for these guys got guilty conscience. How can they come to sleep at night time? You see it? And as Majesty says, nothing so harmful as finding oneself faced with a guilty conscience. Whatever one do, they have to do it with their, with their heart clean and their mind clean and know say where they make it a righteous judgment. See it? I lay eye. It can be whenever, whenever conflict arises between material and spiritual values, the conscience plays an important role. And anyone who suffers from a guilty conscience is never free from this problem until he makes peace with his conscience. As you all are cognizant of those things which displease God and brings forth shame, temptations should be rigorously resisted. You see? As far, far Rastafari says, as you all are cognizant, meaning that you all know or are aware of, as you all are aware of those things that displease God and brings forth shame and temptation should be rigorously avoided. Now, if you find yourself right now as a one within yourself who are really confused as to what displeased God, you have a real problem. You see? Yeah. For even though every baby born with that know what displeased God. Rastafari. You see? Eli. Justice is the fundamental axiom for the survival of freedom and government. Justice, you see, justice is the axiom of the fundament is the axiom for the survival. Justice is the fundamental, excuse me, axiom for the survival of freedom and government. You see, so no justice, no freedom, no government. You see, because justice is the fundamental thing for it. Again, fire. Justice again. Justice is the fundamental axiom for the survival of freedom and government. You see, justice is the foundation of it. You see, so that meaning now, no justice, you don't really have freedom. You see? And if you don't have justice, you don't have no government. For justice is the fundamental axiom for the survival of freedom and government. That's the far right. So you have people running around here about they got governments. You see, in government this and governmental that, and government this and government. A fraud, fraudament. You see, and just fraud thing going on. For, it ain't no justice can be found amongst these ones. Pure fraud thing, rob and rape the people. Them. So wake up, my people. Wake up, wake up, wake up. And make we go home. Yeah. That's the far right. We have always been endeavoring to see that what is benefiting people elsewhere in the world is made available to our own people. You see him. We have always been endeavoring to see what is benefiting people elsewhere in the world is made available to our own people. Rastafari. You see him. That is one of Rastafari tradition as ruler, you see, to know what going on.